My brothers and sisters, what is going on? Still Sermon in the house on this Tuesday morning with another video for you guys. And as I always say, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Links are posted down below on this video. Again, just another take of mine as training camp is officially a week gone by and one name in the training camp for the Steelers that has been heavily been talked about so far is George Pickens who we took in the second round out of Georgia this past draft. Now I like the George Pickens pick right away and I thought that he was going to be a really good receiver for us and my thoughts on that so far have been confirmed in training camp as Mike Tomlin has said a lot of great things about him. The teammates have said a lot of great things about him and he's got a great scouting report to go along with it, man. So, yeah, there's a lot to like with George Pickens. Obviously, with, uh, you know, with how he is overall with a great fluid route runner that he is and his size always making him a good threat. You know, that's kind of a rare thing to find now in the in the NFL nowadays. You know, a lot of these receivers are a little undersized. They can't really compete with tough catches, and they can't really uh, challenge defenders that are bigger than them anymore. But I think George Pickens, that one right there, you know, him right there, that's going to be a big attribute to him. And it's shown at training camp, too. He's made a lot of great plays on the ball in training camp. And he's just shown his pure raw skill as well, man. And like I said, it's been heavily talked about in training camp by coaching and players as well. And in my eyes, this guy had all the potential to kind of be late first round pick, early second round pick. I could have seen him go in the first round pick just looking at him play, but... Obviously, he had that injury that set him back a little bit, and we all know that with Kevin Colbert, when he was here and he was our GM, it still feels a little weird to say, but we all know that Kevin Colbert, we he loved his receivers, and he loved finding rare gems as far as receivers go in the uh, second and third round, and I think that this might be another good find, you know, back in the day. Mike Wallace, he wasn't a first-round pick. Santonio Holmes, you know, Antonio Brown, even, if you want to include him there. Martavis Bryant from back in the day. The Steelers have a knack for developing these wide receivers, and they have a knack for finding them late in the draft or not even in the first round. And I think George Pickens, with him not being a first-round pick, I think that he has potential to join a good list of Steeler receivers that were picked after the first round. You know, it, it's just really good to see, man. You know, it, it really is. And I think part of the reason that he's been getting a little more reps than Deontay Johnson at training camp is because of the current holdout that uh, Deontay Johnson's doing because he wants more money on his contract. He wants more playing time. But, you know, I'm not worrying about that too much because I think this is kind of like, you know, another big year for Deontay Johnson, but that's another topic for later. But I think that's part of the reason that George Pickens has been getting a little bit more reps than Deontay Johnson has. And it might also be because that he kind of fits Matt Canada's offense a little bit better. You know, he's entering a new offensive system. Um, He's not having Big Ben throw the ball to him. He's having at least one of three quarterbacks that are going to throw the ball to him because... Mason Rudolph has actually not been doing too bad in training camp, and that could mean that he could stay on the team. But then again, it is training camp, so only time will have to tell. But it's that he's entering a new offensive system. This is a good time for him to be able to flourish and for him to be able to polish up his skills, you know. And like I said, this all goes back to just receiver development that we've had that we've always had a knack for back in the day, you know, when Kevin Colbert was here. So yeah, man, I mean, George Pickens, I feel like that this guy can really be a good a very good wide receiver for us, possibly a number 1 when it's all said and done. Personally, I think Deontay Johnson's our number 1 guy right now. But um 
he hasn't been participating in the team drills and he hasn't been participating in the sets and the reps yet. But um, George Pickens, kind of like being that next man up guy and kind of like being that guy that's like, you know what? I'm going to come on here and I'm going to show that I earn a that I earn a spot on the 53-man roster. So I personal, so I 100% expect George Pickens to at the very least make the 53-man roster. But I'm just saying, like, give him a couple more years, and I really do think that George Pickens has what it takes to be a number one receiver for us. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say for this video. Just a quick take of mine. George Pickens, I'm excited to see him play. Pick at the Pickens! Hopefully, I'll be saying that a lot in the very near future. But yeah, like I always say, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Links are posted down below. This is Steel Sermon. Checking on out for the day. May God be with you all. And God bless the NFL.